so uh, Robert, uh, hey, uh, just uh, you know, just going back to passive profit, uh, and uh, you know, just uh, you know, just wanted to clarify uh, to make sure I'm on the same page. Uh, so if I if let's just say if I were you know uh, if I were to invest like 10k. And uh, just no, let... don't invest that much in passive profits. Um, there's a there's a um, max limit of six thousand right now, and I can't change it. So that's one of the main reasons why I'm trying to rush the development of the new website. But I am uh, I have like a laundry list of stuff that I want to do uh, before I release it to protect us against having to release yet another website uh, later on. Got it, but 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 what if I'm already you know? That's fine. Investor. I'm not gonna ever close down the website. Uh, I want to leave these options for people because I think diversification should be part of everybody's strategy. You know what I mean? Uh, exactly. So let's just uh, so I'm just giving a number. So let's say you know if 10k is invested, so I just you know I just leave it there, and one year later I come back to it. And uh, the dividends should be like uh, give or take more or less like hundred k. That's correct. Yep. Uh, if you reinvest it every week, it multiplies even faster. Yeah. If you if I reinvest it, obviously it would be much more. But uh, just for you know making sense. Uh, but that would that would you know that would that would, you know if I, if ten k was left there, and if I come back after a year without reinvesting, it will be hundred k. But if I reinvest it every week obviously will be much more, correct? Right. And so for, I know there's investors who really don't want to do this every week, even though they see the obvious benefit of it. So one of the plans that I'm going to have in the next website, um, I know someone said they just want to see one thing there, but I, um, I strongly believe that there is going to be uh, at least 20% of the people who come into this not wanting to have to log in every weekend to reinvest to make sure they're getting the most profits. So I'm going to have an auto compounding uh, profit plan. It's actually going to be the first one. Um, let me jump over to the... Uh, yeah. Actually, I think you me... mentioned there will be two plans. Yeah. One is auto compounding and the other one uh, is manually like how we do right now. So, um, but yep, th there's some criteria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So there, there's different, um, uh, you could call them criteria or, you know, you could call them like contract, um, rules, you know, so they say investment rules or whatever, um, I'll probably find uh, I, or terms, you know, investment ter terms of the profit plan. Um, and so the um, so I'm actually going to have a separate tab for the investment, you know, so but I'm going to so I'm, I'll move that over in a bit. Um, and the competition, I'll probably have the competition on the same page. Um, and I will have the contact us probably, I can make it a drop down actually, um, with the about us and the terms and conditions. I'll see. I think that the SEO would be still working the same way. Although I'm, I'm just always thinking SEO for some weird reason. Um, I guess it's just because I feel like every site should have some type of SEO from the very beginning. Um, but basically, if you if you go, let's just like look at this. So, I'll probably have like five profit plans in total, um, and I'm not exactly sure how the numbers are going to work out. Um, but I am going to have you know the first one, as I said, daily compounding. I may have yet a second one, daily compounding, and um, just have it as a. Um, so there's a particular daily compounding um, program, which was called Tron Stake. And it was amazingly successful. It was really, really helpful for everybody involved. And then out of nowhere, they didn't allow people to um, 
to do the auto compounding feature anymore. And when they did that, uh, I literally told everybody to stop investing because I was like, in four days, this whole thing's going to collapse or like five days, this whole thing's going to collapse. And it was like really sad, but it w literally like it would fulfill the people's desire to say, I want to get my um, my investment back um, and I want to put it in for a fixed amount of time. So you can see that there is a, a withdrawal. So this one's like, you know, withdraw every anytime. And then the one where the um, where it'd be more percentage, there'd be like a specific uh, withdrawal date. So you see how there's like different days here. So uh, so like the withdrawal date, let's say it's like two weeks or a month from now. Um, and based off of, so part of the thing, part of the, um, strategy of what I'm doing right now with the contract, which I was able to execute on my own, um, was to make the days flexible. Um, and then I made the uh, the percentage flexible for each profit plan, as well as the overall uh, adding, um, being able to add uh, percentages to all the profit plans together. Um, uh, but I was like, I didn't get like the uint or the public private thing correct. Uh, the developer said, so he said it was easy to fix. Um, but I, I always like to just at least put the the structure there so that it looks and and feels the way I want it to. Um, but then there was all these other things that I thought of after finishing that that I was just like, okay, let leave him to that. I'll focus on the front end and all the other things that I have to do in the next few days. Um, and he was perfectly happy with that because he saw how much there was to do uh, in the back end. Um, so these things will help me to um, to keep things flexible and Sharia compliant. Um, and then I'm going to have an auditor before I do anything. I'm going to be looking for an auditor um, to help to security audit everything and uh, make sure, actually, uh, Mark, make sure that I, I interview somebody for auditing the contract um, tomorrow. So even like while we're in the middle of doing it, we're, we're going in the right direction. Got it. And uh, just uh, because uh, one of the brothers asked for it, I'm gonna do it. Uh, there's gonna be a minimum for, uh, for each profit plan. Uh, it's probably going to be like, uh, like the, you know, the first one's probably going to be like half a percent. Uh, this one's probably gonna be like 1%. Uh, you know, that'll probably be like 1.5. Uh, this will be like 2.5 and the next one will be like three. Um, uh, and so that'll help us so that we can make sure, uh, that people feel confident knowing that, you know, this particular one, this is the minimum that that could, that I'll ever get, um, and the percentage is going to reflect how much is being made uh, in the background with the trading. Um, you know, uh, the the trading bot that uh, I actually have to get. A, a little, the developer is actually trying to contact me right now. I just. I uh, want to finish up with the, the last 15 minutes of this presentation. Um, so it looks like I should be able to start testing that out uh, tomorrow. Um, and it looks like I should be able to make, um, you know, anywhere from like uh, seven to 10% per day on the money. Um, and then, you know, once I've tested it out, made sure it works, I'm going to show you guys exactly, you know, what's happening in the background. Um, and how everything's being multiplied and, you know, how um, and the security uh, protocol in that trading algorithm um, is part of it. Uh, I've, uh, and I've asked a few uh, developers. Um, uh, so I've asked a bunch of these developers, you know, what's the safest thing to do? What's the safest thing to do? What's the safest thing to do? And it's to keep the private keys um, on the uh, on the local hard drive in a secure um, folder that's encrypted. So uh, so that's what I'm that's exactly the the, the strategy with this one. Um, and it's going to be 
so as long so when the trader you know that's where the most of the funds are going to be held during the week and and then they're they're moved on uh onto the platform on the weekend so you guys can take care of your withdrawals and then i'm just going to keep uh multiplying and stacking it and increasing these percentages in um in uh, uh you know some multiple of how much i'm making um and we can once i know what the range is we can start discussing you know what makes sense um and what makes sense for the next people as well and you know i'm happy to to give you guys you know as much as possible because you know i'm really don't need a whole lot to keep the development going um because i'm you know outsourcing everything uh in you know uh, the Philippines, uh, Pakistan, and India, where wages are very low.